Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I am going to be doing a huge clothing haul. I seem to have bought quite a few new items of clothing recently and I really want to share them with you guys. I feel like I haven't done a clothing haul in a while but um, yeah, I'm excited to have some new items to show you and to wear in my like what I wore this week so you can actually buy the stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited to have some new items in my wardrobe and I'm gonna get straight on and show you them. I also want to mention I'm using completely natural light today so if it doesn't look as good as it usually does or if it looks better let me know. Um, I don't really like using lights um, so if this works then I'm going to be very happy. So I'm going to start with things from ASOS and the first thing I picked up was this pair of dungarees. Um, these are from Cheap Monday and I've seen someone at uni wearing these and every time I look online they're always out of stock or not in my size but this time they were in stock. And it's really hard to find flattering dungarees, but I love the back, how it's quite like wide um, up until the top. Um, and when they're on, they're really flattering on the bum um, and the hips. They were quite expensive, they were about £80, but for a pair of dungarees that I know are going to fit well and look good, I think it's worth the investment. So yeah, these are my new dungarees and I'm really excited about them. Carrying on with the denim theme, I picked up these jeans that have like um, a checked print um, on them. So I just thought they were quite interesting. They're in the like farly high-waisted slightly mom style jeans. These ones are in the normal size I get but they did seem quite tight um, so I may have to size up in these ones but yeah I just thought they were quite interesting. I don't actually own any pattern jeans I don't think so I'm excited to start styling these. Next up I picked up this hoodie and I am a sucker for anything that looks like it's super duper soft. <laughs> and so this is like a cream loungewear hoodie. It's got a pocket at the front, which I always forget to look at in a hoodie, but now every time I'm getting a hoodie, I need to make sure it's got pockets because if you've got a hoodie with no pockets, what's the point? <laughs> so yeah, it's actually a great hoodie for lounging in because it comes up like nice and high on your neckline, so it keeps you nice and warm. I find with a lot of loungewear, it's very much like, off the shoulder and like gaps here and there but I'm a very cold person and I get cold really quickly so loungewear that looks good and keeps you warm just the best. Yeah I picked this up in a size medium as well so it was a little bit baggier. The next step from ASOS you guys have probably seen these before if you watch my week in uni outfit videos but these are my new western boots. <laughs> these were actually in the sale um, so I will obviously link everything down below and hopefully they're still in the sale and available um, but they're just so cool they're like I love the fact that they're in black which makes them a little bit more subtle for wearing and they've got a mixture of like faux suede and faux leather and they're actually super comfortable. I think I got mine in a size 6 because they didn't have a size 5 but it fits fine and um, yeah, just super excited to wear these. They're actually quite warm. Um, like if it's quite a hot day, then my legs get quite hot. <laughs> but I'm totally in love with these. I just think they're great. <laughs> okay, moving on to my favorite shop in the world, which is Free People. I have a few little things to show you. The first one is this dress, which I'm not sure if I've shown you in a haul before because I bought it a while ago, but I haven't worn it yet. I sort of bought it in preparation for warmer weather and got too excited and now it's literally going to snow next week so <laughs> so this is what it looks like it's in a gorgeous whitey cream colour I'm not sure if it's cream or white now I think it's it's slightly off white I'd say it's in the FP beach range but um, I'd say it's like a tennis style skate dress um, it's so lovely I love the button details all the way down um, it's in like the softest fabric fits really well um, I went for an extra small in this. I've realised that free people sizes run quite large, so um, if like, I'd normally get small in most things, but extra small seems to fit much better in free people stuff for me. So yeah, I'm super excited to wear this in slightly warmer weather because I feel like it will just look a bit better with no tights, this sort of dress. So yeah, very happy with this. Then I found this blouse on ASOS, but it was free people on ASOS. Um, and this was in the sale actually. I think it was still quite expensive, but it's the nicest blouse I think I've ever worn. The cut is so flattering. It's got quite a deep V, but not like uberly deep. Um, then it's got like some little mesh parts in the right places. Sleeves are really cool and like 
really large. It's just such a lovely piece that I think is going to stay in my wardrobe literally forever. Then the final thing from Free People is actually something I already have, but it was in sale on ASOS for £13. And it's this little t-shirt, which you guys probably know I wear a lot. Um, I actually put this up in size below that I usually have because I wanted it to be a bit tighter. Um, so yeah, now I have two of my favourite t-shirts. <laughs> then moving on to Bista Village, it's actually quite rare that I find something I want to buy in Bista Village these days. Not sure why, I just, I'm a bit funny about shopping these days. But I found two really, really cool items in Ralph Lauren. These are definitely going to be love-hate items for you guys. But the first one is this cream dress, which is in like a waffle texture, like something that looks a bit like underwear, like thermals. Um, but it's got this little button-up neckline at the top and then it's a full-length maxi and then at the back it's got this really flattering curve going through it um, so when like I saw it I was like mm, that might look a bit silly on but when I put it on it just looked I thought it looked really flattering on so yeah I'm gonna start thinking about styling this it's not exactly something I'd just chuck on and be able to wear I need to think about it a little bit more and for those of you wondering it was £20 reduced from £129. And then the final thing I picked up from Ralph Lauren is this amazing cardigan with like fringing going all the way down it. I'd say it's like a midi length um, cardigan. It's got massive patch pockets on the front. I thought this would look so cool with like a big chunky belt just like belting it in at the waist. Again it's got that sort of western theme to it which is a huge trend for this summer and this was originally £429 and it was reduced to £79.99 which is a pretty decent reduction. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they also had it in black um, so if you're interested in going to this village at some point um, they have it in black and white. <laughs> Next up is Zara um, and I picked up a few dresses. I seem to be going crazy for dresses at the moment not sure why. I think it's because I've been watching too much Gilmore Girls and they always just seem to wear the most figure flattering dresses ever. <laughs> so this is the first one I picked up. It's like this black ribbed long midi style and then it's got these really interesting cuffs and hems which have like little silver bubble detailing that has sort of been like curved in a way, if you know what I mean. There we go. It's sort of like a frilly effect. It's not very nice to put on because it's like when you put really cold jewellery on your body and it's like, <laughs> it's a bit like that. <laughs> but again, it's like a really flattering cut, a lovely, like, not too deep V neckline. Um, yeah, it's nice and warm as well because it's knitwear. Then in the sale, I picked up this fun little polka dot dress. Um, I wouldn't normally go for something like this, um, but it was like £5 or something, so I just decided to get it. Um, it's quite interesting in the textures, like, it's just a normal cotton on the middle and then it's got this, like, cotton shirting on the outside, which gives it some nice volume in the sleeves and then it's nice and tight on the body. So yeah, it's quite a fun piece. I really want to do some, like, photo shoot thing with this dress. I just think it's a bit of fun, really. And then the final dress from Zara is this little silky shift dress. It's a really nice length, it's not like uber short so I'm not worrying about um, <clears throat> when I bend over and everything like that and the neckline's not too like revealing and it's also got adjustable straps which I just think every dress should have adjustable straps. It's a very sensible idea. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this in the summer. I love wearing dresses like this if it's really really hot. Um, I just find they work really well with me. I love how I'm talking about the summer already and it's just so far away, but oh well. <laughs> okay, next up I have a few items from And Other Stories. Um, I wasn't paid to talk about these at all, they just asked me if I wanted to pick a few pieces out, and I did, and so. First thing from And Other Stories is this pair of amazing boots. These are quite high for the normal heel size I go for, but I can walk in them. <laughs> and the fact they're a sock makes it much easier to walk in because it kind of just like holds your foot in place. And then you've got this little like red chevron pattern on the top of the sock part. Um, I just think they're so cool and they go with so many different things. They instantly make an outfit look pretty cool if you ask me. And then this next item is this super soft um, leopard print 
jumper. I don't always go for leopard print. I go through phases of leopard print, but I actually really love it at the moment. And I love how it's got this like really thick black neckline. I've been wearing this quite a lot in my uni outfits video. It's in my last one that I filmed, so I don't know when this video is going out actually. <laughs> It probably is in the last one I filmed. I am quite a sucker for And Other Stories jumpers. I always think they've got a really flattering cut and the fabrics are always really, really high quality. So yeah, I really like this jumper. Okay, I did not realise how big this haul was going to be. Um, there is a lot of stuff here, but um, it has been accumulating since about Christmas, I'd say. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm obsessed with Western boots and like the ones I just showed you. Um, from ASOS, and then when I found these ones on Mango, ooh, 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 I was immediately sold. <laughs> so these are like bright white um, western style ankle boots. They have quite a heel to them, but they're easy to walk in, they're really nice and spongy on the inside. Um, they were about £80, which is quite expensive. I don't know if they're real leather or not. <laughs> it says they're limited edition, so if you want them, go and grab them now. They also do them in black if you're not quite brave enough to go for the white. <laughs> I really wanted some white western boots um, for spring summer, so I'm really happy with these. My mum saw these when she came over the other day and she said that they look like they're something out of Zoolander. <laughs> So now I'm going to call them my Zoolander boots. Then the next thing I picked up from Mango is this faux shirling jacket. It's got sort of like brown suede accents and like zips, um, which I love. I love the sort of Chloe-esque vibes it has. And this was in the sale for about £30, so pretty good deal for a jacket like this. And I have been wearing this in my uni outfit videos as well, so if you want to see me styling it, then head over and watch one of those. I promise you this video is nearly over. If you've got to this point, props to you. So the final place I've got stuff from is Boohoo and the first thing I picked up was this jumpsuit. Um, it's got like little circles down the side which is kind of sexy and you can see a little bit of side boob. <laughs> and it's got this really lovely square neckline. I do love a good square neckline, not gonna lie. And then it just goes out into really wide leg trousers. I think it's like one of those sort of items that's good to have in your wardrobe for when you want to go out but you don't know what to wear, you want to look a little bit sexy. So yeah, I'm excited to wear this. The next item is also a play suit and it's one of these like really tight ones that goes into flares. It's got little love hearts on it and um, it's a little tight. Um, it could be like I don't know, I feel like I've got quite a long body um, and like body suits and things like that can be a bit uncomfortable because um, they can be a bit tight, like not enough fabric length wise. Um, but this one's all right. It's just really comfy to wear lounging around and everything. I wore it on Valentine's Day when I was in my room on my own. <laughs> it would also look good like um, with a t-shirt over it and then you can just see like the flared legging part. Okay, we're now on the final item finally um, and it is a pair of joggers. I don't tend to go for like these high-waisted jogger things but I thought I'd give it a go because look how well this matches with my new boots from And Other Stories. They're just like stripes and stripes. These are actually super comfy. They go, they're like really high-waisted. Um, then they've got like the little red stripe down the side and then they just go into a cuff at the bottom. Pretty flattering for joggers but I worry that if I sit down I'm then going to have like the saggy bum afterwards so I don't know. I'm probably just going to wear them around the house. Okay so that is everything. kind of feel like I've gone a bit crazy but when I go back home for Easter I think I'm going to get my Depop back up and running so I can like cycle through more clothes and sell some to you guys. So if you're not following me on that I will try and link it down below um, so you're already following me for when I put up things. Um, and if you're not following my Instagram then there's a link below for that because that's where I usually announce when I'm selling my clothes. So yeah I really hope you guys have enjoyed this humongous clothing haul. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below which item you want to steal from me right now and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!